I too close to you right now? I feel uncomfortably close. I feel like you should take a step back or something. Wait, maybe we should make out. But some of you are 12, so let's not do that. Now, as someone that travels quite a lot and who is also a complete asshole, I have quite a lot of experience in getting told off in hotels. No, really. So naturally, I figured I should pass on some of the knowledge that I've acquired over the years so that you too can get stranded outside a hotel at 2 a.m. in the middle of London with no money. You shouldn't be a prat like this. Now the first thing you should do, which so many people overlook, is run yourself a bath. <coughs> it is in your God-given right to use all of that shampoo, all of that shower gel. And for crying out loud, you have six towels. If you're not gonna steal them, use them. And if you're one of these weird people that says, well, you know, I just don't like lying in my own filth. You're living in your own filth. You're wearing your own, go and have a fucking bath because you probably really fucking stink. Now speaking of free toiletries, it is just an unspoken thing that you're supposed to steal as much stuff in hotels as possible. If they give you glasses, take them. If they have coasters, take them. If they give you freaking shoe polish, take it. You paid 100 pound to stay in a bed overnight, make it worth it. Step number three, if I can keep count, which I can't. If you're lucky and or rich enough to be in a room with more than one bed, make a super bed. Why don't more people do this? Put the single bed Next to the double bed, have a triple bed. How often in your life are you gonna come across the opportunity to make a triple bed? Not very often, do it, it's fun. Step number 27, you need to steal more stuff. The rule is, if they haven't nailed it to the floor or wall, it's yours, take it. I feel like I'm just telling 500,000 people to be kleptomaniacs. Step number nine, you will have neighbors and they will be having sex because that's all people use hotels for, sleeping and having affairs with colleagues. If they're gonna have sex that you can hear, you need to raise the fucking bar. Make them feel like they have to compete with you. Make it a game. Up the sex game. Ah, oh, oh yeah, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah. Put that right in my vagina, ah. Oh. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at daybreak the sea went back to its place. Step number four, double check that you've stolen everything that's not nailed down. I'm s seriously, a double check helps every time. Oh, fuck. And the last step, of course, is to make use of the free Wi-Fi. Woo, porn! If you're in a hotel that doesn't have free Wi-Fi, you got a bad deal. There are loads of things you can do on the internet, but there's only one thing you should do when someone else is paying for it. <laughs> Until that happens, and that's when you get kicked out. Also, if anyone cares, my New Year's resolutions are to masturbate more often and be way less honest. I'm doing Ask Ever 10 next week, so go to that video right there and leave your comments in the comments section if you can, if you have Google Plus and all that shit. Fuck Google Plus. Right, goodbye. Hello, um, is that room service? Yeah, um, I seem to run out of toilet roll. Oh, come on, you bitch. Oh, oh look.